look at the T panel control and how do we use it in Delphi. So what is a T panel? So if I come here to the tool palette and I go to standard, I scroll all the way down, you will eventually get a panel. There we go. There's a panel. So if I drag the panel down, it looks like that. So that looks, that's basically what it looks like. Now you can use panels in lots of different ways. Some people use it to display information without the user being able to edit it. You, if you want to allow the user to enter information, they would, you would more likely use an edit box. But a panel, maybe you want to display something. Maybe you don't want to display it in a label. So you can do that. So it's got very similar properties, like a caption property. It's got a name property and all those different options. And you can change the color of it as well. So there's lots of little nice things about a panel. Now, the main thing, that I use a panel. What I like about a panel is that I can put stuff on the panel. So first of all, I don't want to use it for displaying stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the caption away. So that there's no caption, but I will give it a name. Always give it a good name. So let's call it PL uh, info. And then what's nice about this is you can actually uh, put stuff on the panel. So if I put a label, if I put a label over here, do you see this is on the form? You can look over here. See the form? The label is attached to the form. But if I want I want it on the panel, and if I put it there, it's just going beyond the panel. So but I can drag it and put it onto the panel. So now it's actually attached to the panel. And that does lots of nice things for me. For first of all, if I move the panel, it moves everything that's on the panel. So that makes my life a lot easier if you want to structure your information in, for example, like a last little dashboard uh, setup. Maybe you want a little section over here and a section over here. It's nice to put a little stuff over there. So that's the one nice thing of it. And also you can put a little edit box on the, so that now you can see that it's on the actual panel. So there we go. And that's quite nice. And that what's also very nice is that you can actually change the panel's visibility, the whole panel to false. And by changing just the panel's visibility, uh, if I just run it, let's see what it looks like when it runs. You'll see by making the panel invisible, everything that's on the panel will also be invisible. So you don't need to go and check each individual thing and make them all invisible or stuff like that. You can just change the panel and then everything on the panel will go away. So like, let's run it quickly. It's running. Boop. And there we go. You can't see anything. It's not there. Okay. So this is a button. If I click on this button and I want to make that panel appear. So panel info dot visible is set to true. So now we can make the panel true. And let's have a look. Boop. So there's no panel, but now we can see now everything on the panel is visible. So there, there is a nice little way that you can interact with panels. Um, so that, that's what you can do. Another thing that people tend to do is they tend to use panels as like multiple screens. It's not the best way, but it is an option. So over here, if you can see right over there, I've got, I've got another panel. There we go. I've got a lovely little panel here, which is, uh, as you can see, it's, it's, it, because I've put all these things on the front, it, it doesn't come in front. I'm going to actually right click and change the order to send it to the, bring it to the front. So it's in front of everything. So there we go. It's in front of everything. That's great. And so this is my splash screen and I want to be able to have a button. Um, let's go find a button. Where's my buttons? There's a button. I'm going to put a button on this panel. You can see my splash screen. There's a button and I'm, you should change the name, but uh, I'm just going to put a little close button there. So there we go. It's a little close. And when I close this button, I want to set this panel splash. I want to set its visible property to false so that it disappears okay and so what i tend to do is okay so we the, the panels by default is set to true and i'm actually going to move it over here so it's out the way because i actually want to work with all this stuff and what i'm going to do is when the form gets created so double click on the form yeah i can say hey you know that that panel that panel splash i'm going to make its top property equal to a so that when it gets there top dot top I'm set that to zero and I'm going to set the left property to zero as well. And so what that means is that the top corner of it will appear in that top corner. That's top left, top and uh, left zero. So when, I, so when the form gets created, it just moves the panel to that particular point. Um, so that's what we can do. So if we do that, so I run, even though the panel's down here, oh, it's, it's, it's right there. It's right in front of everything. And then I can close the panel and now I can interact with what's behind. So if you want to create multiple screens, you might want to make use of panels. And so what I do, as I said, make your panel, 
Uh, make If you've got multiple panels, it gets quite complicated, but put them all to the side here somewhere. Make them invisible, and then as you need them, you can make them visible. But put them to the side, and then as you need them, you can also click on it over here. And then take okay, it there, and then just move it to where it needs to move, for example. So just move, use your panels. Uh, make them appear where they need to appear. You can set the, those at the top of the left property to be zero, 0, or you can find, if you want it like somewhere over here, find out what that position would be. So if I, if I wanted it like over there, you can go look, okay, I want it there. Well, the top here is 76 and the left is 120. So that's what you could do if it's just a little, little screen that pops up. But those are little things that you can use. If you want multiple screens, you can use panels. So there we go, that's how you can use a panel. For more videos on Delphi, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Go look at the playlist and you'll find information that can help you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.